the question says a simple harmonic progressive wave is represented by equation y is equal to 8 sin 2 pi 0.1 x minus 2 t where n x and y are in centimeter and t is in seconds at any instant phase difference between two particles separated by two centimeter is dear students the phase difference between particles separated by distance delta x can be written as k delta x where k is the propagation constant and here it is equal to 2 pi into 0 0.1 when substituting the value, we write 2 pi into 0 0.1 and delta x is equal to 2. So, this will be equal to 0 0.4 pi or 2 by 5 pi. Which means, dear students, the answer for this particular question is option number 4. Now, let us proceed to question number 42. Question number 42 says, a 140 calorie of heat is required to raise the temperature of 2 moles of an idle gas at constant pressure. From 35 degree Celsius to 45 degree Celsius, the degrees of freedom of the gas is. Dear students, the molar specific heat capacity at constant pressure can be written as the heat required at constant pressure divided by the number of moles and the temperature change. So this will be equal to 140 divided by 2 divided by 10, which will be equal to 7 calorie per mole per Kelvin. Now the students Cv can be written as Cp minus R and which here would be equal to 5 calorie per mole per Kelvin because R is equal to 2 calorie per mole per Kelvin. The adiabatic constant gamma is equal to Cp by Cv which will be here equal to 7 by 5 and this is equal to 1 plus 2 by f where f is the degree of freedoms. On solving this expression, we find out the value of f to be equal to 5. Therefore, dear students, the answer for this question is option number 1. Now, let us solve the question number 43. The question says, a motorcycle starts from rest and accelerates along a straight path with an acceleration of 2 meters per second square. At the starting point of motorcycle, there is an electric siren. The distance of motorcycle from siren where the driver hears the frequency of 92% of the frequency of siren is. Dear students, the apparent frequency f dash can be written as f multiplied by v minus v naught by v, where v is the speed of sound and v naught is the speed of observer. Herein, we can also write that f dash minus f by f will be equal to minus v naught by v. Therefore, delta f by f would be equal to minus v naught by v. The apparent change in the frequency in the percentage terms is 8% so this will be equal to minus 8 by 100 this will be equal to minus v0 by v and therefore v0 will be equal to 350 into 8 by 100 which will be equal to 28 meter per second now the students from the equation of motion that v square is equal to u square plus 2as we can find out s to be equal to 28 square by 2 into 2 because 2 is the acceleration which will be equal to 196 meters and hence option number 3 is the correct answer. Now let us solve the question number 44. The question says the observer is moving away from a stationary source. The variation of apparent frequency with observer speed v0 is best described by. Dear students the apparent frequency can be written as f into v minus v0 by v that is f dash will be equal to f minus v naught by v plus f. These students we can see that the equation between f dash and v naught would lead to a straight line with a negative slope. And the option that correctly represents this variation is the option number 3 which is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the last question of the test which is question number 45. Question number 45 says the string is divided into three segments so that the segments have fundamental frequencies in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. The lengths of the three segments are in ratio. Dear students, the frequency of a stretched string is equal to 1 by 2L under root T by mu which means that the frequency N is inversely proportional to length. Therefore, we can write down that N1 ratio N2 ratio N3 which is equal to 1 ratio 2 ratio 3. The ratio of L1 
to L2 to L3 will be equal to ratio of 1 by N1, 1 by N2, 1 by N3, which will be 1 ratio, 1 by 2 ratio, 1 by 3, which will be equal to 6 ratio, 3 ratio, 2, which means that option number 4 of this question is the correct answer. So, dear students, this concludes the discussion on the quick solutions of this test, which is test number 4 of the RM batch. I hope you understood all the questions. I wish you all the best for the upcoming exam. God bless you and thank you for watching.